Now you might be asking yourself, Joe, is that a new shirt? No, it's not. I rotate through like the same four shirts. Oh, the eye patch though? Oh yeah, we're wearing this because in our last video, our top comment was from Lucky Lou saying that they want us to get the gallo done while wearing an eye patch and complete the outbreak second Easter egg. So that's what we'll be doing today. And they also said that we can upgrade Mule Kick. So I went ahead and did that. And Mule Kick's one of those perks where you don't really use it for its intended purpose and more for the things that you get from upgrading it. So I'm really glad that we got to upgrade this. But before we get into it, if you want to leave any weapon upgrade or challenge suggestions, go ahead and leave it in a comment down below. I'll have a comment there as well with everything that we've already completed so make sure you check that out first that way we don't get any repeats and this episode is just riddled with deja vu because we're doing another shotgun while doing another outbreak easter egg and the top comment is another one from lucky lou and this isn't even my first time wearing an eye patch for a video last time i wore an eye patch for a video is when the crossbow came out for cold war and i had pink eye at that time but you know damn well i wasn't gonna miss using a crossbow and getting that done so i just got a, an eye patch and threw it over there so you don't have to look at my crusty eye bussy. I already feel like this is affecting me. It feels like my eye is glazing over underneath this patch, but I am not really concerned about finishing this Easter egg. I feel like the hardest part for this is going to be like me actually going through like the red portals to get it started because Orda, it, it, I mean, don't get me wrong. We've had our battles with him, but Orda's a little bitch. And this, I think it's probably the easiest boss fight in this game. Like everything leading up to it is more difficult than fighting Orda. Like actually getting the camos for this is going to be more difficult because we still need to get about a uh, thousand crits for this. A thousand one hundred. And then all the rest of our like kill camos, like our pack-a-punch kills and our normal kills. Uh, what events do we have here actually? Oh, Black Chest event. Perfect. Uh, Dragon D's event. Uh, uh, enemy Hilo. I'll have to like craft something to take that down. But just like the Legion Easter egg, we have to wait until round three until we can even start like doing the steps to set up the Easter egg. So throughout these first three rounds, I'm probably just going to be trying to get my weapons set up. I get it all pack upon, just get as many perks as I can and trying to get all the camos that I can. But I am curious, Lou, why the eye patch? What's this got to do with anything? Am I doing like a, a Dr. Peck cosplay? I'm not nearly as bitch made, so it's, it's obviously not working. Maybe I'm Weaver. Does Kravchenko have both eyes? I feel like he's the type of guy that just wear an eye patch just to look menacing. But at least we get to do a pretty like decent weapon. The gal is like up there for one of the better weapons in zombies. But honestly, now that I'm using this, I kind of didn't appreciate the Street Sweeper as much because I just think back to when it was first added where I'm almost positive the reload on it is like was the same as Pack-A-Punch or non-Pack-A-Punch as it was Pack-A-Punch where you had to like constantly put in one bullet. But I think they might have changed that because using the Street Sweeper last time was actually not too bad. The Gallo, however, runs out of ammo so quickly. Even with the 12-round tube and when it gets Pack-A-Punch, it doesn't have as much ammo as you'd think. So I think I'm going to try to get Deadshot first because crits come before everything else. And then I'm getting Pack-A-Punch right after. And then everything else after that is just, you know, a little cherry on top. Oh, and there's our Rotten Camo. We're all done with normal eliminations. Just got a lot to go with everything else. No way. Okay, well, we've already gone down, which is fantastic. Because I don't know how well uh, Quick Revive is going to work here in Outbreak with how far zombies run away from you after you go down. And you barely get any salvage, so I don't know if I'll be able to buy another self-revive. I'll have to try to just get lucky and get it out of like an event or from like a zombie drop. So this really sucks. Then you know what? There's an extra layer of difficulty for us since Orda is just so fucking easy to kill. And we still completed the event despite going down. So I'm the greatest. And now time to try to grind out these crits. I probably should have grabbed um, Deadshot before starting this. Actually, you know what? I can still do it. Nothing stopping me from walking away from this. I just really don't want to activate that helicopter because I got nothing to shoot it down with right now. Now we can actually grind these camos just in case you haven't seen this strategy before. Start up this black chest event, shoot these orbs. Every time you shoot an orb, it's going to spawn in a bunch of zombies. My strat is to try to shoot all of the orbs. It does get risky because they do a lot of damage, but the more orbs you spawn in, the more zombies that will spawn in. And then all you got to do is run to a spot where the orbs can't reach you anymore. So once you get out of their range, you're going to be so safe from the orbs and just have more zombies than you know what to do with. So I think this is probably a pretty safe spot, but look at this huge horde of zombies running at you. I wish it was like this all the time in outbreak oh and there's our threshold camo so now we actually need a thousand more and that is gonna take a while especially with the way i'm shooting right now so i'm gonna sit here and try to grind out every single zombie that spawns from this event and then we'll see where we're at when i'm done with it and okay, now we are officially done with this event please give me like a, a hand cannon or something 
Nope, we got another Gallo. Sweet. At least we can pack a punch. Now, this could make or break our game, depending on if we can shoot down this Omega Hilo. Oh, I don't think we're going to be able to. All I have is this Diamati that I got from a loot box. Maybe I should have pack a punched it or something. But this has so much scrap in it that we could possibly get a self revive from it. Oh, we got it pretty low, but it's moving too fast. Oh, we got it. What a weak helicopter to die to one pistol. Why even drive that around? But you know what? I'm not complaining. It actually just killed a zombie when it hit the ground. Fucking idiot. Now check this out. Beautiful. We get all this plus a death machine. There's a chopper gunner too, but who cares? And now we have enough to get a self-revive back. That would have been perfect to upgrade our weapon, but I'd rather just, you know, have the little safety. A little safety net. We'll probably end up going down again anyway, so... Oh, we don't even have to buy one because we just got one from a crystal drop. Let's fucking go. The RNG gods are smiling upon us. All right, we've made it to Outbreak World 3. I still have to do all these events and try to grind. Why was that car moving? Who's driving? Who's ghost riding the whip? Anyways, I still have to go through and do all these events and try to grind out all my camos before we can go ahead and start this Easter egg. So I'm gonna do that real quick. Okay, all of our events are done. Now we can go ahead and start up this Easter egg. We have to go through three red portals. And if I miss a single one, we have to warp to the next world and try it again. So let's hope I don't fuck this up. I don't want to have to go through and uh, do this multiple times. Give me money orb and get the fuck out of here. Skid fucking daddle. And our portal is through this door. <sighs> All right, let's do this. Ravenov's talking to us. Now, this Easter egg is more on Ravenov than it is on Maxis. We're being led by Ravenov. So we just need to hit all three of these portals and be very, very, very careful. Very slowly. Almost into the sky OC. There we go. The scussy. The next one's right here. I can still see it with my one good eye. I will do this as slow as possible just to make sure. Let me pop my parachute immediately. I don't see it. Oh, I think I see it now. Oh, okay. It kind of looks like a tree all the way over here. I hope this is the right thing. Yeah, that looks like it. Now, steady. We got it. I think that's it, right? I hope that's it. Oh, yeah. Now we have to just follow this little piece. I'll be taking that. Okay, cool. We don't got to redo that one. That was the part I was most scared of. The rest of this Easter egg should be easy. Honestly, I don't remember what to do after this part, but we'll figure it out. And now we can attach this to the beacon and call Rabinov. What's going on, my man? Hopefully, my device was not too difficult to How does Rabinov set up these portals with a device? Why didn't he just leave it in a dead drop? Like he did with the, the Maxis sex tape. Like, how does he set up just portals across the land? Whatever. Well, we'll just go ahead and go to our next area. Okay, now all of the Easter egg steps take place on this world. We don't have to advance again. Like, it's not like we find another thing and go and bring it to a new location. Everything happens here. But before I do all these steps, I want to go through and do these events because I still got camos to get. And we get a little Orda warm up over here, an Orda pregame, if you will. Get to fight Orda before actually fighting Orda. This is like his son or something, his third cousin. But this event's also really good for like grinding camos, grinding XP, you know, whatever you're doing an outbreak because if you just don't go ahead and slap orda i know it's uh it's tempting but he spawns in a lot of zombies so you just let him spawn in all these little gremlins get your kills out of it and then when he's done spawning them then you can kick his ass i think he might be done spawning zombies in so here's a little sneak peek on how our boss fight's gonna go just like that and bro drop me two sigmas sigma balls orda you ever think about that? All right, I finished all the world events and now we just need to go to this crashed helicopter. And this is always oh, like so hilarious to me. It looks like such a setup, but this dude just happened to die recording a message to hang out of the window of the helicopter. Like that's way too convenient for anyone to believe that that just kind of happened like that. Like, come on, just perfectly like this, holding it with one hand too. Most of us survived the crash. Oh, that's why. Okay, so they survived it and put it there. I always think that they, they just happened to record this in case they crashed and just happened to hold it on the way down. Unfortunately, you're missing a component, an ethereal orb. You need an ethereal orb. Strike team, let's find that orb. Okay, so now I'm starting to remember the steps a little bit. We need to find the ethereal orb and shoot it towards the bridge. I just don't know where it is, so I'm gonna look up a guide. Okay, so it's looking like there's a few locations for this orb. First one they said was at the bathhouse, so I'm gonna check that out. Oh, I think it is up there. Wow, we only had to go to one location, assuming I don't fuck this up. How do I get up there? Well, I'm in a predicament. 
I can't like parkour it. Maybe I can climb it like this. Go right here. And mantle. Nope. All right, well, my short ass needs to find something to climb on. I need to like go build a grapple gun. Oh, well, luckily for us, we have a crafting table in here. And now all we got to do is this. Fly up here. The bridge is that way. And we just shoot it in that direction. Okay, so now it's just going over to this little house. And we just got to keep shooting it and make sure that we're shooting it in the right direction. Go ahead, orb. Get the fuck out of here. We're almost there. Go ahead. Go on, get. I think that should be it, right? Nope, it's gonna stop one more time. Pesky little bastard. Go. Is that it? It's floating above it. Damn thing won't go into the cage. This orb has me thinking, Weaver. It is almost childlike. What a Dad, shot in the dark. Maybe we must find something at once. Perhaps a toy of some kind. Ravenel's like, huh, maybe could this orb also be a child that needs a doll? Huh. Could it be? So now we need to find a broken box spawn that has the little uh, bunny in it. So there's only three box spawns on this map, uh, according to the guide. So we know it's not in the middle here, unless that's uh, behind that big building. But we got a box spawn right over here, somewhere over here at least. I don't remember where. I think I might've been in the wrong spot. It might be over here. Yeah, there's the box spawn. Oh, and there's the bunny. What's going on, dude? Why don't you come here? or flow away, whatever, you know, do your thing. Honestly, the bunny, big upgrade over the bear. Looks way cooler, colors more vibrant, and it's a little more scary than just a teddy bear. And we've calmed it down. It gave us a bunch of shit. Appreciate that, bunny. You wanna come with me? And now we have the Aether Bunny upgrade or the field upgrade. I think this is it. I think once uh, we head over to the rover, we're heading towards the boss fight. Do we need anything before we go? Our gun's fully packed. I mean, we have this Diamati, but I'm probably not going to use this at all. We have basically all the perks we need. We got a grapple gun and some nades. I think we're all right. All right, Aether Orb. Why don't you go ahead and get in the rover? Actually, let me use the bunny surprise real quick. It's the same thing as the Aether Canister, but a bunch of butterflies come out, which is really cool. Nice little effect. And now let's just place the bunny in here. There you go. Yeah, do your little dance. You want to get in there, Orb? Yeah. Oh, of course. There's a recording inside of that. A classic Aether tape recorder that was floating around in a ball. Also, I think this part of the Easter egg is really sick. They kind of explain why this whole surrounding thing is around all these maps. Like, obviously, it's here to just contain the player because these maps are, like, way too big. But once this throws up its little shield, like, right here... There we go. Then we can actually head on into it. I wish they would have done this on more maps because I know these fire team maps are pretty big and you don't really see a whole lot of them because fire team's pretty dead. So unless you really play the game at launch or during like the, the PS plus like event, you don't really get to see all these fire team maps because I don't think you can just like start a solo game into it. And we actually get to see a little bit more of how like the dark aether would look on, on these maps, like the corrupted world of it. Because on holdout rounds, you can kind of see it. But you can't, like, do the glitch with uh, the grapple gun to get out of holdout rounds anymore. So this is, like, your the best thing you're going to see for it. And honestly, this is pretty good for us leading up to the boss fight. Because there's going to be a lot of zombies that spawn. And we can might be able to get some camos done. Assuming I can hit some critical kills. And there's, well, I wouldn't call it a side Easter egg, but a cool little uh, thing to notice. Uh, Hell's Broadcast, let me know about this one. Shout out Hell's. But I think if you go to a certain point out here, like, right over there... We actually can see it from here. There's just three tempests in the sky. Maybe four of them. And it's never explained what they're doing, why they're doing what they're doing. But they're just there, you know, chilling and vibing. And then they teleported away, I think, was those beams that we just saw. But you really forget how much of these maps are here that we're just cut off from. I mean, honestly, I prefer it with the smaller outbreak maps than the fire team maps. But sometimes the areas that they cut out are a lot more interesting than the areas that were given. And this shit just blew up. So now we're safe over here, I guess. Let's head on up. And they are all fucked up. I guess I'll take the blueprint. Idiots. Another classic tape recorder. But now Jaeger's evil. No one walks away from Omega. They did kind of fuck these guys up though. Like it's, it's almost unnecessary. It's actually very unnecessary. What's the point of cutting off their arms and legs? I guess like, I don't know, to torture them. You know, it's crazy. I'm still gonna teabag all of them as per tradition. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead, Jaeger, explain everything. 
I'm just waiting for order to spawn so I can kick his ass. Oh, we only got five minutes to do this. Can you imagine like the stress of like figuring this Easter egg out after doing like Legion and only seeing five minutes pop up? And you're like, oh shit, w what boss do I have to finish before I can even properly take a shit? Like I take shits longer than this. I guess it's time to exfil. I hope nothing bad happens. Oh my God, it's Orda. Uh, who could have seen this coming? We have to clear all these enemies from the site. Might as well do it because I still need camos. We still don't have the gold viper on this. We might have to play a second game. Honestly thought there'd be more zombies during this part, not just like 20. So if you'd excuse me, Orda, I'm going to kill all your friends and then I'll kill you just like before. All right. Now it's just me and you, buddy. Why don't you eat shit and die? He's still swinging at my turn zombie. Like it's got brain rot. Oh, now you're spawning in more? Actually, you know what? This could be a good deal for us. You help us get camos and I kill you. It's a win-win. Actually, you know what? How about I just kill you right now? Hold on, let me reload. All right, bye Orda. You gave it a good try, but uh, unfortunately for you, that was not enough. And now we have our third Easter egg done. So let's go ahead and board the helicopter. Oh, finally out of here. I, oh, I didn't even get a chance to say, I hope nothing bad happens. But yet again, Captain Price does not really give a shit. He's only kind of hanging on with like one hand, not really caring. Captain Price just like does not emote. And honestly, what are all these guys with guns going to do if I just activate my Tesla Storm? They're all just going to freeze. What's going on, Krevchenko? Surrender now. Bro, I think he's Team Rocket. Like, what are all these guys with Krieg 6s going to do against like Captain Price with a ray gun if I had one? Nothing. But we did finish that game. We got... 1300 almost 1400 kills 900 crits and we went down once let's see how many crits we have left to get we need uh 200 more crits come on all right let's hop in a quick game of d machine and crank these out if only outbreak had like more zombies or i got a few better events or Florida was a little bit stronger of a boss maybe uh we could have gotten our camos done then we gotta do a little extra credit Oh, and there's Gold Viper. We're finally done with this. All right, let's go ahead and see what it looks like in game. And this is what our gal looks like with Plague Diamond because we got our shotguns complete in the last video. And now this is our third shotgun that we got done. One of the better weapons in the game. And it was a pretty easy Easter egg to do. Fuck the order up with it. But I'm gonna go ahead and end it here. Thank you guys for watching. I truly appreciate all your love and support. Order's a bitch. Fuck this eye patch. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.